Welcome back to the channel, Austin here. Do two things, please. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Cover Shiba Inu pretty much every single day, as well as other coins like Bitcoin, XRP, Solana, all with a view to help you, A, be updated, stay updated, and B, make more money in this crazy crypto market. Okay, so I want to talk to you about the fact that Shiba Inu has outperformed Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, I'm going to explain that to you here in a minute. And if you weren't really paying attention, you probably would have missed it. Quite frankly, I hadn't even looked at this. So this was like, okay, this is absolutely worth a video. So as you can see, uh, we are currently right now, SHIB is really flat. And, you know, that 4027 range, market cap 16 billion. Look at this market cap and volume are right in, in line with each other. Number 11, number 11. I always like to see that, you know, to see kind of if those numbers are close together. Okay. Um, now, here's what I want to share with you. Okay, so right here. Did you know that Shiba Inu has outperformed Bitcoin and Ethereum year to date as far as percentage move up? Did you know that? If you didn't, it has. Here's here's the real quick numbers. Bitcoin and Ethereum are up 67 and 68% year to date. Shiba Inu outperforms with over 200 plus percent move up. Yeah. So I mean, let me give you a different view of it. This is the chart. So you can see that during this period, we had Shiba Inu move up. Now, the now this was my software that gave this green momentum up um, buy alert down here. So it did give an alert and also was given a sell alert because you can see how we've got kind of this move down here. Uh, let me show up. this move down here. Make sure you guys can see that I'm not covering that up. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, see, we got that move down. Now that's because where we're at in the, in the macro market, the overall markets moved down, um, you know, but look at this. So Shiba Inu was bumping along, doing just, just fine. And then all of a sudden, boom, went all the way up. Look at this craziness. Okay. So Shiba Inu's outperformed Bitcoin and Ethereum as far as percentage move up year to date. I didn't know that. I was like, that's crazy. And I really wasn't paying attention to it in that capacity. I wasn't comparing SHIB to say Bitcoin and Ethereum and things of that nature. I mean, Bitcoin's done real well as done real well as well. I mean, like you can see right here, you know, there's 75% move up right there. Again, buy and sell. If you're interested, links in the description below to pick up my trading indicator. That's what it does. It gives you alerts and tells you when to buy and when to sell any crypto asset you, you care about. Um, you know, but that's that's interesting that we've had Bitcoin and Ethereum being beat by Shiba Inu as far as a percentage gain year to date. Yeah. So the numbers don't lie. There they are. You're seeing them on the screen. And I think that was worth a video, right? It was worth noting. And so congratulations to you as a Shiba Inu coin holder. I do consider this to be Shiba Inu news. And I think that this is something that, you know, should be celebrated in some capacity. Well, Austin, what about this move down? Yep, I know. We're in this down cycle right now. And the overall crypto market is, is, is trending down a little bit. You know, we've had Bitcoin move down from its all-time high that it set about three days ago. Uh, let me share that with you with, in case you didn't know what that number is. Yeah, 73,750. Okay, again, I'm not worried about it. I know we're going to get back to that. Um, I did a video that went live last night talking about, you know, I think that the bears are wrong, that, that Bitcoin's going to crash to 20, 30,000. Yes, I know this is a Shiba Inu video, but you need to pay, pay attention to Bitcoin because it drives the entire market. Remember, Bitcoin makes up a little less than 52% of the overall crypto market of Bitcoin. So you need to keep your eye on that. Okay, so kind of final thoughts here. Um, I think we're going to continue to see kind of this consolidation and, and maybe a little bit of a move down scenario here as we as we flush out kind of this period that we're in. Um, the, you know, we've got, like I said, and it's probably more representative of kind of this, this Bitcoin chart. If you got this kind of uh, this you know, this move right here, I'm trying to get where I can get my keyboard. So you got this move right here, right? So you kind of got this move down. We got a similar thing playing out in SHIB, okay? So look, right here. You can see it, it's right there, okay? So I think we're gonna to continue to see this um, not necessarily a downward cycle, but 
a little bit down and then we're going to see a consolidation period, you know, where we're, we will start going sideways. I don't expect SHIB to be pushed back to, to where it was previously. I think that this is our new norm somewhere in this range in this two in the mid twos range. Uh, I think this is where we're going to be. So as always, thanks for your time. I'll see you.